Islanders, welcome back to another video. Today's video, as you can tell, is all about solar power. It's a lovely sunny day, so it should be good to test once we've installed it. So there's my 22 year old 16 foot warrior. I'll show you all the equipment we're gonna use, all the connectors. There's a million different ways to do this sort of thing. So I found the way that suits me. So come along for the ride, episode three of the boat project. So what have we got? We've got the solar panel. It's a 20 watt solar panel from Amazon. The reviews are quite good. It's got various mounting points, wired connections. Then we've got the charge controller. These are really important because without one of these, if you go direct from the solar panel to the battery, there's a risk you could uh, short something out or overcharge the battery or worse, discharge the battery using the diodes. So I'll explain how this is used. Uh, we've got my, I'm putting a 20 amp inline fuse at the battery terminal end. I'll explain that. Low temperature solder connectors. These are, these are a game changer. Uh, these sort of uh, connectors, which we've all seen before. Heat shrink, important. And the cables that I'm gonna use. Eight gauge cable, so 3.2 mil, which is essentially overkill for this, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I'll explain my cable and as we go. The best wire to use for this sort of application on a boat is marine grade wire, which is tin copper wire, slightly thicker insulation, but you can get away with auto wire. It's whatever you can afford, I suppose. Um, this will last slightly longer. So the solar panel itself is gonna fit on the top here. I need to drill holes, stall it, and it'll come through the underneath. And then I'll wire the charge controller around here somewhere where I can figure out. And my battery is in this back compartment here, which we'll get to. So I've measured everything out. I'm going to drill the holes to install the solar panel. Stainless steel connections, washers. These are what I'm using to fasten it on. Fasten the solar panel to the roof. We've got the main wire coming through, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it through that conduit there and I'm gonna extend it. It came with, it came with another wire in the box, uh, which is obviously for straight to battery terminals, but I'm gonna snip these ends off and I'm just join them to this cable coming off the solar panel and then these will be the connectors that go into the controller. I think a good spot for the controller, which also has USB ports, will be at the rear here of the console. So I'll do the connections and then I'll install that. Remember which one the positive is. And this is where these uh, low temperature solder connectors come in really handy. So this cable will go in, that's a heat shrink, that's a heat shrink, that's a low temperature solder, which I'll heat up with a heat gun and then that will bind this to the other connection. Highly recommend using these, these are so easy to use. So this is the connection coming from the solar panel. This is the extension cable I'm gonna to use to run it to the controller, to where I wanna position it. And I'm gonna fasten in, it's gonna connect in with these basically. So see here, I'll melt this bit in the middle and this will bind these two. But before you do this, don't make the mistake I could make right here forget to put the heat shrink on beforehand so I'll do that first. So you will need a heat gun for this. Just the cheapest heat gun I could find on Amazon. Does the job. Heat sleeves on. Positive to positive. Make sure you don't mess that up. I'm gonna do the outer heat shrink first so then it can't travel. On the other side. And then we'll get to the solder. You see that. We'll let that cool down for a second before doing the heat shrink or it'll just get stuck on it. That is pretty solid already, you can feel it's not going anywhere. Now while that's doing that, I'll strip the negative off this. It's got USB connections, so if I ever did have it here, I could charge devices here, they're not gonna get wet. Yeah. Before you drill into something like a console, make sure you check. It's not gonna interfere with anything on the inside. Let's have a look. Luckily mine has access, the mess. No, 
there's nothing there where I'm going to do it. I'll just crack on. Didn't take into account how bloody hard it would be videoing something so intricate with the sun so bright. Pre-drilled the holes. Got my wires coming down ready to go into the controller from the solar panel. However, I'm not going to do that yet because I want to tidy all this up. Save that for later on. Okay. Good position for the controller, I feel. Panel's on the roof now. Wiring to the controller is done. Here's my conduit of previous wiring, which needs redoing. I'm going to redo this entire panel at some point. So I'm going to run it along here. As you can see, it comes under here, under the seat. And there's my battery. So I will connect off here. Currently I've got two connections to the battery. Uh, don't recommend having any more than four. I'll put bus bars on this eventually. Uh, but we'll get into that in another video. So I'm just checking cable lengths and the battery connections. So these are the connections I'm using. You can use various colors, it's whatever you want. Some people use black and red. I know what I'm doing here with these colors, so I'm quite happy with that. So. So I've run the cables through here, underneath the console. Now they're both coming out, positive and negative. Got to do the ends for the battery. Put the cables from the solar panel. I think on here you can actually connect other devices, lights, etc., straight from the panel. But I'm not doing that today. Just as a bit of added security, just before the main positive from the solar panel controller to the battery, I put an inline 20 amp rated marine fuse, weather sealed, and then that will be the side that connects to the battery. I've just connected it again using the uh, low temperature solder stuff. I'll heat shrink that shortly. Just as an added security, I've worked out that 20 amps is ample. Uh, it will never get anywhere near that, but if it ever does, then at least we know it's a safeguard. These go as close to the positive on the battery as you can fit them. I think I'll be covered on the fuse front for a while. <laughs> Loads of fuses. Nothing's connected yet on the battery side, so that just goes in there, and then we just tighten this up. I'll do them all, and I'll show you. Okay, so we've got the solar positive and negative going in. Battery positive and negative. Nothing's lit up yet because it's not connected. Now I'm going to tidy the solar wire up shortly. As you can see, at the moment it's just going up and back to its hole. I also have a waterproof... Uh, grommet to put around here to stop any ingress. Uh, same with all the connections. Right, let's go check her out. So you can see there, the charge coming in. It's got a battery voltage rating, little LED light there showing the solar light is on. Connections wise, solar going in, positive, negative. Battery positive, negative out. I mean, you can use the loads or these little USB ports underneath. Well, I'm quite pleased with that. It's got a little overcast and we're still, we're still getting a decent uh, charge. That should definitely keep that battery topped up. 20 watts is what I've worked out is sufficient. Pleased with that. So there we go. Solar panel installed on the boat. Does the job. Hope you all enjoyed that. All the gear, including the panel, all linked below in Amazon. Next video will be mostly around electrics again. LED lights mostly. I want to replace everything with LEDs and also uh, rewire the boat. New uh, switch panel, etc. Put a bilge pump in. I've got so many little things I want to do. But don't worry. We will be going on the water soon. As soon as I get my auxiliary engine, we'll get her out on the water as well. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoy this little series of mine getting the boat ready i'm enjoying making it uh, learning as i go the windows need replacing as well well there we go quick video today on the uh, top solar panel there she is winner <laughs>